I'm really about to make this video. Alright, well I guess uh, welcome back to this. Uh, now, I just made a video about selling the car and uh, now we've come to this. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's true. It's gone. Uh, I'm never going to see it again. Bye. Car heaven. It's in the ground, I guess. Yeah, so not going to be selling this anymore. Um, let me take you back to how the night started. So, I went to a concert in Milwaukee um, about... So that's about an hour away from where I live. And uh, on the way back from the concert, it's like 2 a.m., everything's normal. Well, first it started out really snowy, and then it was fine, and so I was like, okay, clean trip back. And uh, so keep in mind, I have those custom headlights that I talked about before. And the way I did those custom headlights is I inserted the rings within the reflective housing. So it made it so there's a little bit less reflectivity in there, which kind of brought down the visibility of my headlights. I'm not saying that was the problem, because it, it really wasn't, but maybe it helped a little bit. Anyway, so we're traveling home, and the way Wisconsin works is there's, on the state highways, it was like a four lane, so there's two on both sides, and we're going north. So I think it was 41 north, outside of uh, West Dallas. And uh, we're going about 70 miles an hour, not really speeding, probably like 72 actually. Not speeding or anything, because like, the car gets awful gas mileage once you get going really, really fast. And um, then we're just talking, and all of a sudden we just hit a deer. Like, the deer just came out of nowhere, had no chance, couldn't do anything about it. Like, I even have a dash cam footage, I'll even show you guys later. And, uh, we just hit it, completely squashed the front end, um, really had, just had no chance. Like, it just happened so quickly. So, yeah, check, check this out. It's pretty wild, actually. Oh my god, like, oh it was like some stupid shit. I know, me too, but... Oh! Oh! Yeah, so... Yeah, like I said, we didn't have any chance. Uh, it was really dark. There was no cars on both sides, so like the deer, like it was just me on the road. And since it was 3 a.m., that probably had something to do with it, because if there's a lot of traffic, you know, animals are going to try to stay away. There's no oncoming traffic, so I couldn't see that lane. And what was weird is it came from the inside, which is where the other lanes would have been at. So I had to cross other two lanes just to get to me, and then it hit me. And we were super lucky, like the car did a great job. And, um, I was looking up when I first bought the car, like the front end crash test ratings, and it was pretty good. Um, all the airbags went off inside. Uh, no one was hurt. Thank God. What was like crazy is right after it happened, it actually brought the hood all the way up into the windshield. Just couldn't see anything. Yeah, after it happened, couldn't see anything. Um, thought we were dead just because uh, it was, uh, everything was black. And then, you know, as you're processing everything, you're figuring out if you're okay. Then it starts to sink in that you just lost your car, which is your child. And, uh, yeah, it was it was a pretty sad night, not gonna lie. Um, got it towed, but, like, once the airbags go off, the thing's totaled, so... Which is kind of weird. So this happened about a week ago. I should be getting the insurance pretty soon here. I'm very curious to what they are going to offer me. Or give me, I guess. I don't really have a choice. Uh, I was hoping to sell it for around 6 k because it is a manual with a Brembo package. And it's black, which is kind of a kind of rare. It has a lot shit ton of miles, though. It's like 60, 160 some thousand miles. So uh, we'll see what I get back out of it. Um, it is a sad day for the G, though. So just super lucky. Um, say this something happens to you like this, uh, don't swerve. That could probably be the worst thing. You just hit hit the thing, slam on the brakes, and get over to the side, and then assess everything. Really, sometimes there's really not much you can do. But uh, if you swerve, you could flip the car, and then you could have people dead. So that's that's really important. We're super lucky it didn't go through the windshield though. If we would have gone through the windshield, might not be here. But we are. So we got a second chance. Super thankful. And uh, yeah, so the next video I'm going to update you guys of uh, what insurance decides my car is worth. So yeah, here's another version of the video. Ah, <laughs> uh, Buzz! We missed the truck! We're not aiming for the truck! Oh! 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 Alright guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Kind of a sad one, but hey, it's just a car, really. Fingers.